time to turn up that holiday dinner, right? Yeah, we have Clyde Tanner back and Kim Downis from the Art Institute of Tampa joining us uh, for some holiday tips when it comes to cooking. Nice. Thank you, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Happy holidays. Happy it's a busy holidays. time of year. We appreciate you taking some time to come and see us. Very busy time of year, and we got some great tips to make it a little bit easier to say. We need this. <laughs> it's yes. already looking great, I know. too. The ingredients, not just for display, though, for our show, right? That's one of your tips, too, you've got, huh? Oh, yeah. We mise en place all our ingredients. We get them all in a place. And you guys, we're going to talk about cranberries okay. today right now. And cranberries, you, you get that thing and it's all wiggly in the uh -huh, gelatin, uh -huh, and, it, uh -huh. and it just doesn't taste Is right. Is that like a cooking crime in y'all's world? Yeah, like if a, someone uh, shows that uh, up on a holiday table, do you go, oh Especially the can impressions <laughs> around the, the gelatin. Nice. But nice. here's the thing is, is what you got to know is, is here's fresh cranberry dressing. It looks the same, but you made it yourself. And it is easy as just taking all these ingredients that we have here, the sugar, brown sugar, cranberries, and you can put in your favorite spices. I have some anise, um, some cinnamon and nutmeg, and you just put it in here. Okay. Okay, put it on the stove, let it come up to simmer with some orange juice in it. You could put some whiskey in it too if you'd like to. <laughs> okay. And just cover it for 20 minutes. I bet it makes the house smell so good That's what too. I was thinking. Refrigerated, but it comes out kind of blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to have <laughs> for um, you guys, I probably yeah. could have been I, fine with I, that, I, but you know, you can put that cranberry sauce in a pan while it's hot, put some streusel on it and, and we're going to show you. Kim. Yeah. Explain what streusel is. Kim, let me, I was going to say, streusel. yeah, we've got a lot going on. I know I like it. I yes. just don't know if I technically know what is involved in streusel. You should. Ever had a blueberry muffin with the crumble on top? Yes. yes. That is streusel. So what is the what crumble? Is like are there different is, forms of crumble? Yes. Okay. It, your basic streusel is flour, sugar, and butter. Okay. And then okay. you start. I wonder why I like it. <laughs> it's, anything's better with sugar, right? <laughs> so we're doing more of a holiday streusel. And I have a pumpkin bar that I'm going to show you how to make where you can make with store bought sugar cookie dough and your favorite pie filling. And throwing that same streusel on top really brings it up. Because Elevates what's, it. What's better with the holidays but pie? Okay. Uh, I, I would say that. It, I wish pie was actually spelled in holidays. It would be a lot of <laughs> our family. But pie is not something you want to have necessarily all the time. Maybe you're having a party, you just want something Speak little. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. well, I know where you're going. I know yeah. you're going to make it a little easier. A little eat. bit easier, yes. You want something maybe more finger food like. Okay. Right? okay. So you have it more in a bar form, right? Oh. So we have the streusel that we're going to put on a pumpkin pie bar. Okay. Okay. So if you have a store bought cookie dough, I just happen to make a nice little sweet sugar cookie here. Okay. Now, what I like to do when I'm making these bars is I overhang the parchment paper. Okay, why do you do that? You want to overhang the parchment paper, that way when it's ready to go, you take it out and it's much easier to Look cut. Look at that, okay. Right? So it's, you have that there, it's much easier to cut, much cleaner, you don't have to worry about trying to get it, force it out of the pan. Okay. Right? So you have your cookie dough, you force it into the pan, right? Okay. Make it easier nice. to clean the pan too. Exactly. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Trying to make your holiday season easier. You want to stand there all day crunching no, and we scrubbing do the pan, right? So you get it all nice and flat. Now you notice on my nice finished one here, I got little holes. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you know what that holes are called? It's called docking. What docking does is prevents your cookie dough from puffing up. Okay. You want it nice and flat. That way it doesn't puff up on you. You don't have those big bubbles in there that you're okay. looking for. Okay. Good to know. Oh. Right. So you have your nice pumpkin pie filling. Your favorite pumpkin pie. So you can use any kind of pie filling though? Yeah. or okay. Any kind of pumpkin pie. Libby's makes a nice pumpkin pie filling. I happen to make this one. But you can, oh, I she did. She did it from yeah, scratch. Yeah, this is, you can use your grandma's pumpkin pie mix. Maybe okay. grandma's okay. favorite pumpkin pie recipe, right? Well, it I know works. they make other pie fillings too. So I did like a cherry pie. And we think this would oh, work with you, anything else? Cherry pie, apple pie, it'll okay. work with everything. Any pie okay. filling, right? So we've got under a minute left. Right. So, so where do we go next? All your strews. So you got your Cinnamon, salt, flour, pecans, because we're doing an annex combination. I like you with a dark brown sugar, because dark brown sugar gives you a nice caramely flavor in there. And you just break it up with your fingers, right? Break it up with your fingers, and you end up with something that's going to be kind of all okay. mixed together. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you just sprinkle it on top. I'm going to put streusel on top of everything now. <laughs> on top of know how to do it, what Sweet it potato is. casserole. Right, exactly. And you bake it in the oven. 350 degrees makes it nice and easy. And Look now, at that. and right. what's better with 
I gotta nice tell bar. you, we teased that you guys were gonna come with tips yeah. for the holiday meal. You have delivered. <laughs> Thank you Thank to you. both of you. Let's do this again. What do we say? Awesome. Sounds we're good. We're looking to me. forward to Perfect it. Happy that. holidays again. Happy holidays. Happy you holidays. Have an extra room at the table. You know, invite us. Anytime. You know, you got you're serving up Always a good a meal. Always a spot for everybody. We'll be right back, guys.